you know, I know this is a hard time for everybody now. And I was thinking, what am I going to film this week? What, what would be appropriate? And, and then I realized, it doesn't matter what I film this week. What matters is that we're just here all together, doing whatever we want, chatting about whatever we want, just being alive, just touching base, just making sure we're all okay. You know, for a little while, just just the art of being is going to be enough. Not that old yet I'm far too young To not stand my ground But my ways are mine and I don't want to change Not even for love Now take back I am so happy to see you today. Thank you so much for making it back this week and seeing me and Desi. I hope everybody is well and safe and taking care of yourself. Okay, I wanted to say a bunch of things today, but not right all at once. I, I wanted to thank you so much last week uh, for help, helping celebrate my five years on YouTube. <laughs> Can you believe it? <laughs> and your comments, they lifted my spirits and they inspired me to perhaps keep on doing what I'm doing, only try to do it better. And we truly have grown up with each other. So in that video, I, I have a giveaway and I'm going to draw the winners of that today. And there's going to be not three, but four winners because you all know I threw in a little a special thing you know on the video the week before all you had to write in the comments was drop everything and you got entered for the fourth prize so good luck to everybody I'm gonna draw them in probably about 10 minutes you know the video that I was gonna do this week I decided not to do that video um, I had some really wonderful amazing news about the journey to see a picture of my father I've never seen a picture of him and well I saw a picture of my father and I also I also have a brother and a sister and I have talked to them and they are beautiful and lovely and but I, 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 I'm not going to get into that today because I'm too emotional about it. Uh, I haven't uh, processed it all yet. For those of you that followed me last year, that was one of the most painful journeys I ever went on. Searching for a father I never knew. Talking to you about my mom and what happened to her. I, I just honestly, I didn't think it was going to have a happy ending. But it not only has, it not only has a happy ending, it has a happy new beginning. And I am so very grateful and I cannot wait to tell you all about it. On this channel, we absolutely love talking about skincare. And I am 65 years old and I my skin is kind of on the dry side and I don't get Botox or anything like that. But 
why I am bringing this up today is I don't know if you can see I feel so silly in bringing this up but my forehead is is like glass I mean I'm 65 years old I mean it's like it's like glass and I'm thinking you know that's what I wanted to bring this up today because suddenly I have this kind of healthy uh, glassy uh, a glow that I never had before I have a diminishing a slight diminishing of my crow's feet by the side of my eye. I can't quite believe it. So I thought I would share with you, well, what did I change? In the last 90 days, I started to use the snail therapy, the snail therapy that I mentioned to you. And this is a Cos RX. You can pick this up at Ulta. I can link it below. I'm not sure, you know, what the shipping situation is now, but um, these are, I use the essence water here. I use the cream at night, but you don't have to have both. I am finding uh, that this is uh, a little bit more extreme than this. So anyway, so anyway, I am seeing results. That's the bottom line. I don't know much more about it, the info to, to bring you other than I watch dermatologists tell me that there's science behind snail therapy that uh, promotes anti-aging. It makes us look younger. So I am all in. So I wanted to share that with you. I had a few of you say to me, oh, no, 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 no. I'm not doing any snail thing. You know, that just creeps me out. And I totally get that. But I just wanted to counter with, you know, I don't want to go under the knife. I don't want to cut my face. That creeps me out. So if I have to get a little snaily, um, yeah, I'm going to do it. But I hope maybe I can do a better video on it and go into more detail. But I was just like, really? Really? There's a there's this shine. I mean, you can have a glow like like from rosehip seed oil, you can have a glow from a certain type of illuminating primer, but to actually have that, you know, you've been scrubbing your face for 20 hours type of, I've never had that in my whole life until now. So I had to share that with you. using this Azure Hemp Serum and the Hemp Serum was like, I know a lot of you use it with me and it's wonderful, you know, when you get out of the shower in the morning, it's very lightweight and, and lovely, but these two together, it's like this becomes a booster for this. I find that so interesting. So, so they both kind of feed off each other. So I don't know. I mean, that's not very scientific, is it? But I have just loved those two products together and I guess what I'm trying to do is search for an answer for you as far as what changed so dramatically with my skin in 90 days and this is the only thing that I, I, I'm really uh, coming up with. You know another important thing that I wanted to share with you that's different is I almost exclusively use only two foundations now and that is the uh, the Truly Yours foundation that I talked about a few weeks ago and I, I use the CoverGirl uh, True Blend foundation. The shade is is matte 10 and both of these foundations, these are the, the first two foundations that I've actually been able to use together. But this one is more moisturizing than this one, but they're both, they both fit me so well. But not just these particular foundations are just working so well, but I have been using uh, a Michael Todd. This is a Sonic blending brush. I have no idea why the last year I stopped using my Michael Todd um, Sonic Blending Brush. Maybe because I just fell in love with kind of putting my foundation on with my fingers or a beauty blender, but I never did use this to put on my foundation. The most beautiful thing about this, this rotates 400 times a second. I mean, that is some major blending. So. 
what I have gone back to doing is, you know, when I'm adding my blush, when I'm adding my powder, just so I can set my makeup, I just turn on this brush and it just blends it to such perfection. And and I love that. I mean, you know, I'm not trying to cover up every, every little flaw, every little age spot. Good luck with that. <laughs> but what I am trying to do is I don't want my makeup streaky. And I find the older I get, the more my makeup is streaking. And I don't know why that is. It could be a lot of different reasons, but that that's just a fact. And I have noticed the last, I don't know, maybe a month I went back to this, I am just absolutely thrilled. I am going to try to find a coupon for you. Um, this was sent to me a couple years ago and I love it and I have bought another one so this is it's a it's a great tool Are you getting ready for Mother's Day? Okay, do you not want to talk to me? I tell you what, I, I've got, I've, hello. You know, we watch each other's backs here and you know, for the last couple years, you have suggested to me that I purchase a silk pillowcase to, to sleep on. And I know a lot of beautiful older women do that. And I never did, but there is a company that makes the finest silk sheets and pillowcases in the world and they are called Lily Silk and they sent me uh, in exchange for uh, an honest review two of their silk pillowcases and I got gold to match my bird quilt that I absolutely love but so I went in the last 30 days I, I started sleeping on my my silk pillowcase oh my gosh what can I say this is like 400 thread count it's just it's from silkworms I don't know what that means but it sounds good <laughs> uh, it is so soft and when I get up in the morning I mean there's you know have you ever had like the little crinkles in your skin well okay well I don't get that anymore my my skin just feels like renewed and, and there's no creases so that's got to be good news and this is for me this is like sleeping in a like a sleeping cap so so I couldn't believe it and you know I, I still get hot flashes and I still you know will get fevers at night you know out of the blue I have for like the last three years so this this pillowcase has been like a godsend to me so Anyway, I wanted to show it to you. I wanted to review it. I'm not exactly sure how to review a beautiful silk pillowcase other than, you know, they're, they're under $20 and I have a like a 12% off coupon code that Lily Silk gave me. Um, I went to their website and I kind of got lost there for about 30 minutes. I was just fantasizing about my new apartment and my silk sheets and my silk pillowcase and my hair that isn't matted down like crazy. <laughs> I'm excited about it and I wanted to make sure that I shared it with you especially with the coupon and they have all kinds of really really beautiful beautiful colors all right just for fun because you ask me every week I wanted to just say what my lipstick is and I will use a combination of these two lipsticks a lot this is my favorite this is essence 06 this is called crazy <laughs> they made it for me Anyway, I love this lipstick. It is so creamy and I love, I love the color. And this one is by Maybelline and this is $2.55 and this is called Pink Rave. It's not pink though. It's very similar to uh, my uh, matte drama. It looks a lot like that. But this shade along with Crazy, let me get this for you. Those two together are just the coolest combination, so you kind of have a custom uh, lip color, but it's very, very pretty. So 
Yeah, I, I just, I had to share that with you. A few weeks ago, I showed you my uh, Phoebe uh, beautiful chiffon skirt, and you all loved it. And and you, you know, so many of you got one. Well, I got one more, and I wanted to show it to you. And if it's okay with you, I'm just going to show, I'm going to model it for you real quick. You know, I mean, it just lifted my spirits. And anyway, do you like this one? This one is black. It has a, 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 a slip underneath that's sewn in. And the flowers are so beautiful and they're like a light lime green. bummed out. Hey, don't tell me you're still mad about Forrest Gump beating out the Shawshank Redemption for the Academy Award. Oh, come on. Now, that was a long time ago. Well, that's true. There were, there were ducks in the Shawshank Redemption. Yeah, that's a good point. the sleep sound machine and I ask everybody to put in the comment drop everything and those that did this is kind of a surprise fourth prize for the giveaway mm -hmm. Ellen's abundant life on less all right congratulations you won the sleep machine <laughs> know we're all going through a lot and we got to hold on to each other we got to hold on tight and we have to help each other and you know things are going to change you know I, I realized my channel is going to change my videos are going to change here because we're changing I, I don't know how they're going to change I just know they are they have to but one thing I promise you I'm always going to try to make this a very safe place for all of us. Yeah. You know, when I was a little girl, I was something. But when it came to going to school, I was so afraid. I was more afraid of going to school than anything in my entire life. <laughs> and in the morning, my mama would get me up to go to kindergarten and I would be sick to my stomach. So for the first two weeks of kindergarten, I didn't go. My, my mom called the doctor and he said, well, just make her go. But I'd get sick on the way to school. I was that scared. Well, finally, my mom called my, my grandfather. So, so he came over. And it was the afternoon and school wasn't, school wasn't in session, but he, he put me in his car and we drove to my school and he grabbed my hand and he said, you know, sometimes in life we have to be brave and when we're brave, that's the closest we ever get to heaven because we do so many good things for ourselves and others when we're brave. I didn't really know what he was talking about, but I did know that I was looking at my school and my grandfather was holding my hand and he was telling me to be brave. And I looked around, there were no kids there, there were no teachers, it was it was like five o'clock. But he gave me a hug. And he said, you know, if you ever get scared, just remember, you're my granddaughter. 
and there'll always be a piece of me in you. Everybody, thank you so much for spending this time with us today. I loved every second of it and congratulations to the four winners for the giveaway and I really hope that that you like everything. So, is he the cutest little gangsta you ever saw? You have yourself a very safe and healthy and calm new week. And when you're done with your week, you come back and see me and Desi, okay? All right, it's a deal. You know, for a little while, just, just the art of being is gonna be enough.